Yes. Dun, dun. Quest is very spilling out merits. Dun, 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 dun. I got one more dot to put in. Oh Ooh, god. Peace that make. Is such a sweat. Oh, yes. Okay, yep. Jason. Da da. Peacemaker. Um, so, is, is he for me? Peacemaker. Everybody's got their minds short out. I need to see what Peacemaker is. Do it, Jerry. Come on. Uh, <sighs> two more stages to go. There you go. I need you to fill are it. You are, are you doing the story mode? No. I was doing arcade. Stop letting her win! Ooh! So, yeah, that's what that is. Yeah. So that's the one that lets you okay. just. Let's you basically go, no, 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 let's not murder each other yet. Okay, I'm ready. Yes. So, well, let's start with a few things. Uh, let's see. We got Alex, Edward White, and Flynn Aaron. Flynn Aaron. Hi, Sai. And Edward White. Let's you see. Two of you are forgotten, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Two forgottens and a torn. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, right? Oh my god. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. And we got. Oh, no, I don't want to go against you this round no more. Oops. Yeah, we got the chorus, counselor, uh, and the beast. Shy of among the home. trees. So, what well, are the most basic things? Uh, uh, it's a sharp pain followed by a dull drop. Uh, is, and we'll go with Alex. Alex, uh, you uh, feel a bit different, uh, almost weightless, as you realize that you're kind of amongst a field of trees uh, in a gray expanse that seems to be a hallway leading on. You're such right. oh my. So yeah. And Sorry. a large uh, creature that you can see yeah, just out of view but <laughs> Caroline. Uh, not far, not close. Oh, sits there watching with these big golden globes that are its eyes and a soft voice echoes out from it saying uh, do you wish to live I would have to say yes at that point it slowly moves in closer uh, the large creature moving closer uh, as it approaches uh, the soft smell of cherry blossoms fills your mouth and it offers up one of its uh, massive claws I would reach to take oh, it is. but stop what's, what's the gist I come with you You wish to know what this is? Yes. Oh my Not gosh. Just afterlife, but also okay. afterlife. They say you the, can't let you can't let cat like you know, he's basically So it's the R I so it's like R I P D. <laughs> That's how it exists in the street. I was it it chuckles at this. <laughs> Uh, almost I mean to understand the joke, but, or maybe just playing oh. along for the sake of making you not be freaked out by its form. Oh, it kind. We help yeah. others move on. You help me. I let you come back so you can oh. die how you were supposed to. Uh, we split up this You point. help me, I help you. This isn't yet death. You're 
Clinking. Are you on. kidding me? It hasn't even hit. You're at that verge where it's coming, yeah. but something strong enough can pull you back. But the Gee. only something is me. He just blinks. <laughs> Works for me. Uh, and when you take its claw, uh, you'll be woken up by a start. Uh, and we'll cut over to Flynn. Flynn! Uh, you're uh, yes. in a gray room. It's just completely gray. It looks like a standard, super generic office building. Everything, even the layout, the chair. When you look at, there's even a pot Shot, of plant that's house? gray. Heck, the weirdest thing is the pot of plant has uh, artifacting, like a bad JPEG. Uh, okay. Uh, this, and sitting across this. from you is something sipping coffee. Alright, this seems familiar somehow. I just can't quite put my finger on it. Uh, the creature or oh, whatever it is. Season. The humanoid figure offers Jason, you, you the coffee. Toxic cat. Uh, thank you, I guess. Hmm. You're so toxic. You want to live, yes? Uh, excuse me? Well, you're here. Um, uh, where is here? Uh, when someone dies, they... There's a few places they can go. The wait. Underworld... Or what's ever past the underworld. Wait, oh, that's I that. died. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, now I remember. Yeah. Well, uh, you're one dying. Of those gets stabbed me in the back. To be more accurate, you're dying. You won't do it to her. Come on, Jason. You won't do it to her. Right. I nearly forgot about that. Ugh. Is, oh, what is this place? What? The velvet room? Uh, honestly, that's an accurate description uh, of it, you could say. Uh, I was just saying, nice. like, I'm, uh, I'm coming, I'm coming. I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Inquisitor, can you mute yourself when you're. Because your sister is just that loud, please. You're such a. You know, I'm pushing on the computer. Hey, that's the all hey. I can do. She wants to make sure I throw it at least Big quiet boy. down. So, uh, sorry, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, sort actually, of. I, I understand that one actually. I saw the first of those when it got released. I think. Oh, or maybe that was one of my previous uh, sin eaters. It's hard to keep track of these things. I'm. Wait, the... sin eater? Oh, yes. I'll explain it all in due time. But to start, the most basic is. You're at that cusp. Your so, brain I'm is dead. seeping out of your head as we speak. Alright. And, well, what's minutes here is milliseconds there. So, if you agree, as a geist, I have the ability to interact with the mortal realm. I use some ectoplasm. I put it back together. I, you know, fix up what's killing you. But doing so means that I get to tag along. This means I have to work, don't I? Smart cookie. Yes, you do. Uh, I don't really want to work. But then again, I don't really want to die either. Uh, let's see. To be more fair, if you don't, you're just going to end up in the underworld. It wasn't your time after all. Uh, like he's just weighing his options. Uh, oh. Are you really uh, thinking about fine, this? Fine, I'll 
fine. Well, I I still have things to do anyway. I mean, yeah, that's why you're here. The underworld doesn't just take anybody. It's for those that are lost but not yet found. You know. Complicated theological responses. So, are those assholes still up there? Who asked? Near my body? Uh, yep, yeah, but you won't. You're gonna take a while. Uh, just we'll get you up by the time you're in the morgue. Okay, they better not have taken my sword. Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah, you'll find a way without it or with it. <sighs> All right. They offer out a hand. All right. Do your whole mumble jumbo stuff and get me out of here. Uh, and you'll wake up with a start as well. Uh, finally we go to book and book. You're in a good, bad place. Uh, good is in that it's, uh, it's warm, it's gray, uh, and you're re lying on the ground staring up at the stars as you hear the howl of wolves all around you. Oh, great. I feel my pockets for if I should have a pack of cigarettes. No. You do uh, not. <laughs> uh, you also okay. you also notice a uh, creature that you don't really know how to describe. Uh, it appears to be a man whose parts of his body start to shift into, well, wolves, including his hair and his arms, his limbs, shifting into the form of wolves as... He's standing over you. Ah, uh, uh, speak of the devil. Got a smoke? Uh, it doesn't actually respond or speak. It just howls, and it points uh, at two directions. Uh, you get the feeling that the one is, well, based on the fact that it gets grayer and darker and danker, uh, you get the feeling that's accepting death and the other path you realize uh, you can make up faintly your body ah. it doesn't My say anything it just stares over at you there. I think it's over there I get up and go towards my body okay. we and, can soak. and you'll wake up with a start as well and <laughs> Uh, yeah. And you'll all wake up and, well, you all are currently sitting on slabs in a morgue. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, you, the very first thing is you can all very, very obviously see each other. Uh, the second thing is, uh, well, you're all, since it's a morgue, then they've uh, categorize stuff but luckily they haven't stripped you you know there's still a lot of blood on those of you that died in a bloody death but otherwise you know it's okay uh, you guys get to see uh, a few things one is you see a uh, kind of mist pouring off each of you uh, fixing uh, whatever killed you wound wise so a bullet hole on Flynn's face slash the back of his head is emanating this mist as it patches it up. Ah, huh, you look you look handsome. So what are you in here for? Uh looking for smoke. Yeah. And uh, died. Oh. So, oh, uh, looks like I got shot. I thought somebody stabbed me in the back. Yeah. How did I look? 
I was going to say, and my character would end up sitting up going like, Yeah, my Isekai yeah, venture and... No, it's not Isekai. Who are you more? I could ask you the same thing, doofus. Right. I'm Brooke White, detective. I'm too old for this shit. That shit just died. Uh, you I all... got hit by a random <laughs> truck. <laughs> you all I got hear... shot in the head. Uh, you all hear in your heads from your guests uh, the word crew. <laughs> What's the word? Crew. Crew. Uh... Crew. You know, I, you know. I just say repeat the word crew, as if I'm looking around, as if there's something there. Yeah. What? Crew? What the hell? Yeah, I already have a crew. Oh, I need to get uh, out to here. Yeah. I have no idea how long we've been out. Hopefully they... Hopefully they haven't... There aren't any vacation notices on my apartment. Yeah. Well, most of you realize that it's uh, about the same day, it's, you know, midnight, which explains probably why the coroner hasn't come by to examine your bodies. You're just in the morgue, waiting. Uh, that's the good news. Uh, on the other good news is, well, you're not dead, you're actually alive, and you're, you know, walking around, despite the fact that you probably should be dead. I mean, some of you definitely should be dead, as you're looking at you know, the wounds. Alex is kind of emanating mist from everywhere. You know, trucks hitting a person at high speeds tend to do that. Uh, hey, you got hit by a truck. Alex. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep. How did uh, I die? Uh, you don't know. Damn that, it. That, that's the worst part of you. You're like, I don't no. I'm pretty sure there's a hammer involved somehow. Well, yeah, that could be it. Uh, at that moment, uh, you'll notice that in your hand, uh, Edward, is a lighter. Uh, it's an old uh, monogram lighter that's from the turn of the century. Uh, with the... Uh, stylized uh, name Lupus on it. Huh. Uh, Lawrence Lupus. You don't know why, but it's just there. Uh, Flynn, uh, you, as you're thinking about your sword, uh, feel a, a sword on your lap. It's not your sword. It's definitely a different sword, but it's still a sword. Ah, uh, yeah. It's just it take a few uh, practice swings with it. It feels better than your sword. Hmm. Yeah, I have a cigarette. Yeah, you still have your cigarettes. Yeah. And... Right. I used to uh, uh, to let the soak. Like yeah. Oh, yeah. when it was on my lap, was it sheathed or was it? Uh, no, there's no sheath. Oh shit. This as as you think about a sheath, it disappears. Okay, for a kid, I'm pretty sure that's against the law. Uh, oh, shut up. Also, yeah, uh, Alex, as you're waking up, you have a, uh, a small locket. A small what? A locket. I will check the lock. Uh, it's silver, uh, and it has a faded photo that includes a, a young boy and a dog. Uh, you can't really make out much more than that. Uh, the boy is petting the dog. So well, it might be this then. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, yeah, and uh, it's just a simple locket, and it sits in your hand. It's uh, cool to the touch. Uh, about uh, as you're all sitting there, uh, you uh, waking up from the dead, you uh, uh, have a person rather abruptly break the quiet of the morgue by uh, bursting in. Uh, the man in question is frazzled, uh, older, probably in his 60s or 70s, uh, wearing uh, what you're going to guess is a stolen doctor's uniform because you all notice the uh, bit of blood and the same mist that's emanating off of you, emanating off of him. Uh, okay. Why do I get the feeling I'm not going to like this? I, I, I see this and immediately in a playful tone, I'm like, Oi, you got your killing license. Oi, yeah. Uh, right, I'm gonna make this quick. Now these these is the this is the deal. Your job is to help other people move on to the afterlife. Doing it helps you. Helping your guys helps you. Doing a good job means that you'll eventually be able to die how you were supposed to die. If you still didn't die when you were supposed to die, that guys can bring you back. Those are the basics. You got okay. it. Okay. Good. Get the fuck out. We gotta go. This is not the place to be. It's kind of hard to explain why, why dead people you... came back. You could just say you see dead people. I mean, you're not dead. You're alive now. Yeah, when you see ghosts, you technically see dead people. I mean, you do see ghosts. <sighs> don't Just don't talk to them. Just not talking to you. Or do well, talk to them if you want either to. Either way. Lead the way. I think I'd rather go. I'd rather just go home. No time for that. You got work to do. Work. Work. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen a crew being formed all in one night. Okay. What is this about a crew? I think they want us to stick together. And the winner for guessing the obvious is the cop. Detective, smart ass. Yeah. Aren't they the same thing? Don't I no, have a weapon, Dip? Pardon? Don't I have a weapon? I mean, did you have a gun on you? I should. I Just mean, give me a pistol, I'll be fine. I mean, you're in the morgue. They probably took it off you. Slash, uh, a truck hit you. Come on, let's go. I begin to walk All out. Right. I'm then going to go check if I can Do you at least know if, uh, Do you at least know if my... If they... If these bastards ended up taking my old sword when they brought my body here. I don't know. It's not my job. I'm just here to make sure you get out. You uh, lot fuck. are a crew. I'm going to explain it quickly, simply, and get this done. I have work to be doing with my crew back in Vegas. Ugh, fuck. Yeah. And that's just going to kill me if, if he finds out I lost that thing. Yeah. Welcome to the world of being a ghost cop. Ah, uh, is there any difference between my old job? Yes. Your clients are cranky and... Unlike your normal clients, they actually can only be solved through non-violence. Unless you want to be a dick. I mean, I'm to be a dick is an option. Uh, to be way, I'm just gonna. Listen, I'm gonna I'm make it simple. You're a crew. Around. Crews have I'm to stick together. I'm gonna around this. Shut I'm it, gonna look around this place. See if they stashed it somewhere. It's coming. Uh, you can roll an investigation check to search around the morgue. And uh, you can do the same to look for your pistol as well, Alex, to see if it was on. If they I'm currently took it. doing something with my father. 
Alright, investigation. Oh, I don't have any points in that. Neither do I. I don't have any points in investigation if I remember correctly, or maybe even just one. I like how it's like, I'm going to be an investigator! Do you have investigation? No! Well, you're gonna be wrong. I only have one point in investigation. Can you. I'm gonna ask it. Can you check for me, Royce? I'm checking. Let's see what Flynn has. Flynn has none in investigation. And <laughs> you have none in either, Alex. I think you're all okay. rolling a. Uh, yeah, uh, you're all rolling a luck die on this, so you all are going to be rolling a single d10. I'll roll for you, Inquisitor. Uh, Nukin, roll Slash a single d10. D10. Inquisitor fails. Nukin passes. Damn. Bookmark also fails. Uh, That's close. So, uh... You find a damaged pistol. It can be repaired. It's uh, busy. Uh, it's going to work, but it's going to be at a slight penalty because it needs to, you know, be oiled and otherwise treated well. Because it just, you know, was in a car wreck that involved a truck running over its owner. Uh, I found a gun. Uh, it hasn't been taken. Uh, they note that this man had a sword on him. So you notice they got you looking at the autopsy stuff. Uh, basically, the brief preliminaries the cops did, and it notes that. He just got a sword on him, uh, in a, like a sheath on him, but the actual sword wasn't there. So your sword is missing. Damn it! Sorry to hear that, kid. <sighs> and, um, person who's, whatever your name, guy who's looking for a gun, I have a spare in my car. Uh, Ooh. like, I think Flint did say he found one. Yeah, he did find the gun. I'll, 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 I'll take the broken one for now. It is yours, okay. Alex. It's yours. I know. Yeah. Uh, next thing up besides the uh, slightly damaged firearm uh, is the haggard-looking man uh, causes long short crews are made by a bond between the users and or the geists. Uh, generally the users because something about your deaths connects you or something about your undeaths even though technically complicated stuff don't have time uh, to explain all of should, it should we like burn these what like he, like he has, he's holding the autopsy reports alright uh, I should no. take this I mean you can if you want it's not going to really do much they didn't record your names on them see Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. I walk out. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll just leave it here. Uh, at least I have the sheath, I guess. I'm going to right to work, state son. Makes it real easy to get geist in and out. Morgs. Oh. I guess I'll just put the other sword on the, in the sheath in the meantime. Can you reshape it? I don't know. Like... Okay, so... How did I get that sword out again? Uh, the sword's just, back. Just think sword? And that... Mm -hmm. uh, that one I can explain easily. That's your memento. The... Girl boys? Uh... Locket's theirs. The... Lighter's yours. Your Sin Eaters now, which you don't really get into that. It Long and short, it involves, you know, helping ghosts move on because letting go of their tethers that attach them to the mortal world so they can't go to the afterlife is like eating their sins, blah, blah, blah. Pretentious Jackass named us this, but it's uh. stuck. The point is, that is... Uh, from your guys, basically. It's a manifestation of your connection to them. It's as what long lets as the you, ladder works. It lets you do... Uh, it lets you access the powers of the fact that you... Uh, the ghost you would have become had you not accepted the deal, basically. So, <sighs> those are the ghost powers you should have had. 
Uh, how to use my magic, I guess? You think about it, it will happen. Don't think about it right now. This is not the time or place. And I don't bloody well know what any of you have. I don't know how any of you died. And I don't need one of you accidentally setting fire to something or any number All of right. things. Alright, fine. Let's just get out of here. I'll drive. Uh, the guy leads you out and uh, well, your car isn't here. It's a morgue and you were driven here as a corpse. Uh, uh, can I call one of my ta- contacts to find out where my car is? Uh, yes, yes you can. Do you have to roll anything for that? Uh, no. So, after a bit, you get a ping about where your car is. So you can you can spend the next few hours going to walk to your car, as the guy just kind of looks at you funny. What? It's my car. I mean, fair enough. I guess I can drive you over there. You can grab it. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, and he's gonna drive all of you over there. Now listen. You're connected. That means whatever happened here. Like, did any of your did you guys like your guys? Did they have a theme? Um, my uh, my okay. When I met mine, mine looked like some kind of Native American creature. Uh, I was in a, uh, what I could only describe as the velvet room, but other than that... I don't get uh, that reference. Uh, my thing that looks like a man with shapes, parts of him shapes linked into loaves. And there's a lot of howling. Okay, he good. Beats. Good. So, no connection. Got it. Uh, that That's that's a good and bad sign. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, no, that, that right. that's a good and bad sign know. because that means it's not, you know, the underworld needing you for some crazy, weird task. That means that it's something earthly caused you to get here. There's something connected unifying all your deaths. Why they all happened on this day. I got Isakite after I ended up ki- killing somebody. Right, so there you go. That's something to work on. How? I was just talking. What? I was just minding my business and thugs were fighting me as usual. Uh, the man is very confused at the term isekai and he's just staring at you Alex I watch a lot of anime oh (laughs) oh, those are the weird titty cartoons aren't they not all of them a a good number of them are I mean let's face it a lot of them are nice Uh, I agree with that this this is before my time uh, well, after my time, uh, I should say. I... Anyway, uh, yeah, and apparently I got shot in the head. I don't remember how. Well, what? I'm just confused. What you mean by isekai? Like, is that is that a weird one of those anime terms for being dead? Um, yeah. in a sense, most of it. It usually you means another. You wouldn't know, Tommy. I wouldn't know. How come? You end up, you end up saying this was before your time. No, I that, said before. That I was right after my time. Oh, my bad then. I thought that was Tommy. I went after my time. Because I'm an old man. Right. Okay. I mean, I guess you're still technically here. This is the, the same world you left. 
It's just that you've seen the veil. It's opened up. Turns out ghosts, demons, vampires, werewolves, they're all real. So a Dr. Frankenstein was real? Uh, Dr. Frankenstein, yes, he was real. Uh. Yeah, he made uh, Prometheus. There's, there's probably one in the city. Look in a decrepit place, you'll probably find him. Or her. Don't talk to them because they're depressing. Like most cops. Anyway. Right. I'm going to leave you all now. You got, got to organize yourself. And you got to figure out why you're here. Which probably means figuring out the missing pieces of your deaths. Like, who stabbed you? Or the whys? And other things. It's gonna be hard for me, because people just mess with me for no reason. I don't even remember how I died or where. Well, that's a good and bad sign. I got hit by a CC truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to regret this when what? Listen, listen. Just going to tell you right now. You don't want to know. Sure. Why not? I mean, trust me. There, there's worse ways to dies. Don't I need to know uh, how I died to see what my connection to these? I mean, yeah, are? you'll you'll need to eventually, but. That that's all I got for you. I have to be leaving you. Uh, I'm I'm George, and here uh, he pulls out a business card. Uh, it's a business card from the '80s. Like it's uh, that type of old, and the business card to it. Uh, and the six-year-old hands it to you. It's like, there, it's my phone number. You can call me on my landline. I add you to my contacts. <laughs> this is a landline these days. I do. <laughs> Aside from you. <laughs> yeah. George holds up his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah. And he will leave you alone. Leave you guys outside of Edward's car. With a pistol in various states of not undress but uh, bruising Repair. that's healing up. Uh, thankfully the mist stopped pretty much after you got out of the morgue and well yeah you're just standing there in the night's air. It's cool quiet and you all can see uh, ghosts. <coughs> Uh, you can see your own personal ghost, your geist, floating around or otherwise nearby. Uh, the counselor is just kind of sitting on top of the car, kicking their legs bored. Uh, you can see the eyes of the beast nearby, and... Uh, Edward, you can hear the howl of wolves that nobody else can hear. But more importantly, you can all see like a ghost just sitting there staring at... The car. Uh, I begin to get into my into my car, start it up, and debate what if I should leave these kids there. <laughs> well, there's a ghost on top of your car and it's just staring at you. I do not see it. This is our crazy dream. I didn't die. I'm not healing howling. I need to still drink. Yeah. Uh, the, the ghost just kind of waves at all of you. Okay. Uh, warmly, happily, 
eagerly waving her hand. Uh, she's got long red hair down to her mid back, and she just bounces on her heels happily. Ooh, ooh, you can see me. You can see me. Yeah, yeah. You can see me. Um. Yeah, I can see you. Hi, I'm Sarah. How are you? Um. Uh, fine. I'm Flynn. Hi, Flynn. I am going crazy. Um, I don't think you're going crazy if the two of us can see it too. You could be, you could be what Drekkid Haze after being hit by something. He's weird. He, he's old. Old people are weird. I know. I mean, what's your deal? I'm... I'm a ghost. Rar. Me too. We can see that. She puts her hand through Alex. Is his shoulder? You're not a ghost. I can't touch you. Okay. Well... She pouts. You lie. That's me. Uh, I didn't lie. I died this morning. Oh, you're one of those. That's cool. I've seen one of those I... before. Those are always cool. Hi. Are your friends around? You mean the uh, ghosts hanging around us? I mean, I guess. I was just curious. Ooh, ooh. Oh, hey. I realized something. You're the guy that I saw earlier this morning, she points at Edward. Oh. Uh, yes. I saw you uh, die. It was funny. Uh, wait, oh. how, how is it? How did I? How is it funny? Well, I mean, it was funny. Um, can you tell us how? How? Well... He was talking about an investigation into the death of somebody else. And as he was discussing it with other people, uh, he was talking about stuff. And, well, uh, it was silly. He slipped because it was rainy this morning. And he slid, thunked his head on the car. And everyone was like, oh, my goodness, is he okay? And, well, he's like, I'm fine. And that's when the scaffolding above him gave out. Oh, oh, oh. I can hear the bones cracking just from that description. I mean, yeah, it was all over. But more importantly, like, the piping just went through him. It was like, ooh, but also nasty, but also cool. I didn't know a person could live that long with their larynx outside of their body. Like, <laughs> I was split laughing. I need a stiff drink. I need a very stiff drink. And this explains why, as you're looking at Edward, you all realize that that's why he's got a bunch of holes all over his body. Or rather, uh, holes all over his clothes. I didn't think a situation like that could happen. That's literally a cartoon. <laughs> yes. No. It was Don't weird. Don't make me run you over. Man, that's me. No running people over. I mean, there. If, if I was investigating someone, I'd check my pockets for my notebook. Uh, you have a notebook? Uh, and there's holes in it. Damn it! <laughs> well, that was kind of a given. You, you never know a kid survived. I mean, you did it. <laughs> I'm just unlucky. She makes a valid point there. Kid, do you know where the there's bar is? Wait, can uh, I roll my um, city layout? Streetwise? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, you can roll streetwise to try and find the nearest bar. <laughs> Don't you have bar fly? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, right. so you automatically know where the nearest bar is. I... I get a car, I lock it, and head towards, towards the nearest bar. Okay, you go into your car, 
you drive across the street next to where the scaffolding and there's a caution tape and a chalk outline and you go inside the bar. <laughs> you have I a feeling like you've been here before. I'm pretty sure I have been here before. Uh, and as he wanders in, you all can hear from outside, Eddie! We heard you almost died! Ah, uh, it'll take more than that to kill me. Yeah, uh, <sighs> yeah, uh, yeah. So, Eddie is now, or as his full name is Edward, getting, uh, drunk. Or rather, right. attempting to get drunk. Edward will soon find that he can no longer get drunk. No! That's a good thing. No. I mean, right. there's a bunch yeah. of other things that you get for being Sin Eaters that you're soon going to realize is that uh, as you guys are standing there, uh, Alex, you realize that you've been holding your breath? And you realize you don't really need to breathe. Then what's the point of erotic asphyxiation? Uh, the ghost girl blinks and says, I mean, that's lewd. <laughs> Uh, I come out of it's, it's, part, it's part of trying to stay sane while being dead. Well, kind of dead. You're, you <sighs> guys are... You Sin Eater guys are weird. Yes, I yes we are. Because you're technically still alive, but you can go to the Underworld. I've been to yeah. the Underworld. I left. It was boring. Uh, Alright. Okay. I, I come out... Uh, Alex, are you getting the New Yu Hakusho vibes? Is that... Is, I, I actually watched that one. I, I come back hearing that. It was good. Oh, so you're no, Oh, so you actually did watch something! Oh, but uh, before speaking I was of which... Of course. Uh, technically, to be fair, to be fair, you... I mean, there, there are probably ways for you to you know suffocate probably uh, I, mean, I rather not find out I mean I'm assuming oh yeah we're supposed to do something with you um, alright so uh, so how long have you been dead I've been dead for 13 years okay was there something you left unfinished? Uh, well, yes and no. Maybe. I mean, any information is is helpful because the event appearance and weird things happen to people the longer they stay here. Oh, yeah. Uh, the longer you stay, uh, the deeper you sink into the underworld. And eventually, you... If you stay as a ghost too long, you sink into a, uh, well, it, it's the lake with the Leviathan in it. Uh, That's the third layer of hell for Mirkrick. No, 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 not that Leviathan, a different Leviathan. Think, okay. think like a, uh, like a gate guardian. Uh, maybe he's guarding the entranceway to hell because you're not letting go of your past so you're being dragged into hell maybe he's ferrying people to the correct afterlife I don't know uh, I just know that when you get down there you you start losing who you were and then you start forgetting and then you're like ooh and that's scary but that's only if you don't let go and that takes a few so, centuries so then you want to talk about what you're leaving behind? Hmm? Uh, maybe. I, I'm just... Uh, me, I'm just stuck here because I don't know who killed me. Uh, it was weird. Somebody murdered me. And, well, then when they murdered me, they got away with it. And I don't remember why. And okay, I don't so, want to. So you so want us to solve this for you? So, 
So, so you want to know who killed? Kind of, yeah. I mean, that's the one thing that's been bugging me. Like, the first few years, it was a lot about revenge, but I kind of let that go because, frankly, that wasn't going to accomplish anything. But uh, revenge is always good. Do oh. I have a second notebook? Uh, yes, you have a second oh, notebook the in the car. Yeah, so. I get a second notebook. I open it. Uh, what's your full name? Ah, uh, uh, my full name is Alexia Simons. How do you spell the last name? Simons. S I M O N. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. And, like, so, the. Ooh, ooh, you guys are new, so you don't know things. I could tell you things that are cool. Like, so, like, that, that lake, or whatever it is, maybe it's an ocean. It's weird. But when you go into it, you don't really. Maybe you lose yourself, but it's a test to see if you're ready to move on because if you give up your memories, then you go to the afterlife. Maybe it's just a way for people that aren't able to move on to move on in a different way. I don't know. It's weird. But, you know, big scary fish guy there. Maybe he's a fish. I don't know. I've never seen him. I don't want to go there. Wow. In that case, we'll have to find whoever did this to you. Yeah. I'm um, already on it. Yeah. Uh, I just need your um, day of birth and maybe the day you died. Uh, 13 years ago. Day of birth? Uh, so I was 13 when I died, so that would be 26 years ago. And I'm looking for a date. And uh, well, can't you just look at, look it up through her name? Uh, there could be multiple Alexis Simons in in the city. It will be easier to narrow well, her she down. She did narrow narrow down. Uh, yeah, it's literally been 13 years, years since I died. Uh, this is the 13th year since I died. Okay. To the date. And the hour now. Huh. Have you that day? Yay! Don't worry. That that happens to you too. You'll just remember and be like, oh yeah, this is the day that I technically died. This is gonna be annoying. That's gonna be an annoying thing to try to forget. Don't worry. I mean, I'm there's. Sure what's pass on and we will we'll forget probably I don't know anyways I'm going to make a call to my contacts to get as much information on Miss Simons here okay uh, right. so you how many dots and contacts do you have uh, two okay so the first one's free uh, you need to make a uh, well uh, some sort of social check for them to because they're cops I believe yes are your contacts so you can make me a appropriate check for getting the cops to provide you the information that you need in an expedient manner uh, straightwise or socialize that's up to you I use socialize okay socialize plus presence so you'll be rolling four dice. Uh, do I get any modifiers? No. Four dice. Four d10. Yeah, one success. Yeah, uh, after... Um, it takes an hour, then a second hour rolls by, and then at the third hour you finally get a uh, call back uh, from one of your buddies at the precinct, and... He says, yeah, Simon's death was weird. But, you know, one of those weird, like, freak accidents that you just got to kind of accept. 
Uh, you know what can I mean, right? Uh, yeah, can you send over her 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 case file to the normal place? Yeah, uh, dude, I can just come down to the precinct. Uh, Alright, I can like, do that. Do you know where you work? Yeah, I guess I could do that. You should, though it should be my night off. <laughs> I mean, you're the one that, based on what I've been hearing, almost died from scaffolding falling on him because he slammed into it. Uh, forget <laughs> that. Just, just forget it never happened. I'll be, I'll be down in half an hour. I'll break those if you forget it. I'm trying to watch my carbs, actually. <laughs> I hate you. I'll be down in half an hour. Flynn's laughing. At I am too it's busy trying to end up seeing if there's a, been an update on Hunter x Hunter. Uh, no. Uh, there has not been an update on Hunter x Hunter. I, I, I die, and there's not an update. Wonderful. Okay. One. You've well, been dead for wait. a few hours. You never know. Yes. Anyways. I mean, to be fair, that is fair. But yeah, you've only been dead for a few hours. And even then, you were only half dead. Anyways, I tell the kids to get into the vehicle. The ghost girl hops into the vehicle. Vroom! Vroom! She tries to move the steering wheel. Vroom! Backseat, kid. And why is he dealt? I'm oh, yeah, dead. I'm talking to a ghost. Never mind. Just make sure you don't face to the seat. I get in and wait for the other two. I'm going in with you, mate. Yay. You all get in the car. It's nice. And you drive down to the police precinct. Vroom, 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 vroom. And you make it down to the police We're precinct. We're all going to want to see him uh, in person. Do I still have a badge on me or was it damaged in the fall? Uh, your badge is okay. Yay. It's the one thing that it didn't tarnish. It is slightly bloodstained. What? Uh, besides your dignity, everything else was, you know. <laughs> I hate my death. I park. I tell the kids to, uh, not bother anything, don't touch the radio. I know how many pennies are in the penny tray. I'll be right back. I take one of his pennies. The ghost girl also takes a penny. Wait, how is she <laughs> taking a penny? Like, she... She's corporeal. She's incorporeal, yes. So technically what it is is the penny floats... Uh, up. And she's like, yay! And then the penny falls down into the seats. Aww. Uh, I, gi I give her my penny. Yay! I just go into the police station. So, do you think he's gonna find something? No. Oh, that's sad. Uh, yes. He might find something, then again he might not. Is that a shotgun? Can we use his shotgun? Uh... I think he'd be mad if I used it. I only have a revolver and a glove box. Ooh. He doesn't even have any cool guns. He's not a cool cop. <laughs> a, re a revolver is a cool gun! He's got a lame revolver. That's why, so why lame. Why did I run back? <laughs> I should, I should, 
I should just. Uh, I need to get. <laughs> I go to the release station, find the urge to suck. Well, uh, you get uh, you get some cheers, and everyone's like, "Yay, you're alive!" And they hand you a cake. Thanks for the cake. Well, I mean, to be fair, the report said you were dead. So everyone's kind of happy that you're not dead. Man, yes, you survived you. something that probably should have killed you. Congrats. Thank you. I'm, I'm just that unlucky. I mean, lucky. That's a... Okay, yeah. Maybe you need to go rest. I mean, you just did probably have a near-death experience. It's okay, man. Go go get some rest. If you're you're feeling like, I mean, you just survived a near-death experience after all. Yeah. I sh uh, just give me the... I'll just read over this case, old case file. I mean, I why are you interested, man? I mean, it's a pretty clear-cut case. Uh... I have a very, I got feeling that it isn't. Ah, uh, are you trying to fancy yourself Sherlock Holmes? He technically is. <laughs> I just came in out of nowhere. Oh my god, there's a person in the precinct. I told you to wait in the car. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you pulling the these up? Yeah. The ghost Look. girl's there. She's currently looking through people's stuff. They can't see her. There's also another ghost, a cop ghost, just sitting there, sulking. I try my best to not look at him. And like, yeah, you, you recognize him. You recognize it's that cop Joey. ghost. Is it my old partner? Uh, no, it's Joey. Joey? It's Joey. Joey on me? It's all Joey Blue Balls. He uh, could never <laughs> get laid, no matter how hard he tried. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to him later. Flynn just walks uh, right up to him. So, so I do die. Uh... Uh, it's, it's actually kind of bad, and, uh, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, d happens all the time, but you forget it can happen. I would still like to know. Uh, late night, office, working... Water went down, you know, wrong pipe, and <clears throat> starts hacking, you know, starts choking, nobody around to perform, you know, CPR, and there you Ew. go. Yeah, yeah, happens. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, being a ghost is pretty awesome, to be fair. Uh, like, I've learned so much. Like, you know, I learned that Edwards finally completed a case. Oh, screw you! <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> looking at Edwards weird and looking at the other person weird because they're talking to Finnair. Oh, uh, that's why... Why... Uh, don't mind me, I'm just a dude... I'm just a lazy delusional douchebag. That he is, and he's also my cousin's nephew who I have to take care of now. I'm not related Oosh. to you. <laughs> that, 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 you idiot. Just go back to the car. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the... This is this is going well. The, this is going well. Uh, so you have a file. Uh, you have a. Uh, 
you know, a weird thing. It's like, hey! Huh. Uh, say, uh... How did she fall out of that window, though? Oh, what? I mean, like, that's the file for Edward. Edward's looking at the file for uh, Alexia. It's like, window falling, because there was a bunch of glass around her. Because uh, she was at dance classes and stuff. It's like, uh, you know, it's one of those things like, huh. Okay, that I mean, that makes sense. All the details are there. Strange. It seems so clear and cut what she said. Uh. Hmm. Someone could have pushed her out. I, I look at the address of the building. Uh, it's a dance hall. It's a dance hall across the street from the bar. Because, you know, uh, business district stuff. Uh, there's, a lot of bar, there's a lot of bars in the city. I mean, it's the same bar you were at. So it's not a lot of bars. Uh, I just ask the uh, uh, John... Uh, Johnny Joy, whatever his name was. Yeah. So, did they happen to? Did they happen to bring a sword here? Uh sword. Yes. Like a one of those Japanese samurai swords. Yes. No. Damn it. Asshole, pinch my damn sword. Oh, that sucks, dude. Okay. Hey, hey. Think about it this way. You can get it back. I'm just going to take some cake, say I, say I good advice to my coworkers, and plan to leave the sword freak behind. <laughs> But how are you going to leave him behind? He's your most valuable member. He's the one that says the things that get you in trouble with the police. <laughs> if you arrest him, if he struggles, hit him in the back of the head. Now arresting people is only part of your job. <sighs> anyway, I... Another part of your job is also fighting people and being slightly obnoxious. Yes, I know. Oh. Uh. Well, I... Alright. I guess after we figure out this... Her... Figure out her thing, we'll probably try to figure out why you're still here. I mean, I'm still here just because... Uh, I chose to be. Go to the other side already. No. And I'm scaring you at nothing. Great. There the walls. I'm, I'm leaving. I grab the kid and begin to drag him out. And the other ghost. You swipe your hand at the air. Yes. Alex, oh, you, you do see... realize she's in Comporium, dude. Yes, I'm just getting her attention to have her follow us. Oh, I promise her future ghost cinnamon rolls if she comes along with me. Is that sushi? How can you eat raw fish? That's not oh, a ghost cinnamon roll. No, 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 no. no. Just shh. I mean, no, to be fair, you could get her ghost food. You could ghost also get her a ghost food. sword. Lexia bounces on her heels following you. Yay! Adventure! With the weirdo! And the sword friend! And Alex! Jeez. 
<laughs> See, she likes me. I like you. You stayed in the car. What? That's rude. Isn't he rude? He's mean. Yeah. He's like my dad. He's probably old enough to be your dad. I mean, he definitely is. I, I'd be slightly older than you. And... Mm, but don't worry, it's okay. He'll he'll settle down once he finds the right man, woman. Uh, he probably already wasn't. Oh, he's one of those. That's even sadder. I should have gone to the other side. I, gone to yeah. the other side. <laughs> I get a car to drive back to. The dance studio, across the bar. Should should we tell him that we that he's not a failure? Do you think that would help him? I think it would. Help. I I can hear you. <laughs> oh, you're not a failure. You're a valued member of this team. Yeah, you're the valued sidekick. Does that mean I'm the main character? I guess, yes, but I mean, he's got the sword, so wouldn't he probably be the main character? <laughs> he will pro he, no, 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 no. He will probably be the edgy side character that people only recognize once. His oh, Shoot. you, you do. That is a fair point. This real life is that yeah. anyway. You say that, but you're in a reality where ghosts are real. Slash. Your reality yeah. goes to real. And and you're trying to say that it's not anime. To be He's fair... I just want to get this over with so that we can go home. And to be so fair, I the anime that I grew sleep. up with is different. Because I was in the anime 13 years ago. It was all Ninja Scroll and stuff. Really? Yeah. Wait, you know, do, do you remember that Jackie Chan one? I mean, that's not really the anime, Avengers. but I mean, kinda. Uh... I remember Ninja Scroll. I like that one. It had a lady with a vagina snake. What? Oh. That one. Why? It, Why am I stuck with you kids? Because you, uh, because you didn't go to the other side. You should have went to the other side. Right? I mean, if you guys are sin eaters, then you couldn't go to the other side. That's the that's the thing. Your sense sure, of self and will is. I mean, I don't want to be mean to him. Like his sense mean? of self was too strong. So uh, he, technically, we he don't can't have a heart attack anymore for being angry. Oh, you you are right, actually. Also, to be fair, you technically can't be poisoned. Ah, uh, is that why I can't get drunk? Yeah. Curse this! Curse this life! Um, unlife. Unlife, damn it! Oh. I mean, it's not even unlife. I mean, no, it's life. It's weird. I mean, basically, you're like part ghost. Which is why I said unlife. But you can still have kids. Really? What? I'm too, I'm too old. Technically, a man doesn't stop producing you even if he's dead. That it's age. just his virility goes down. Yep. When you sit outside and you're next to a bar, you hear a lot of things. My innocence got corrupted. I pat her head. Oh. Uh, I, I feel bad for her, so I pat her head. Being oppressed? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, I pull up to the dash studio again and get out. Alright. So what room did it say it was? Uh, uh, the dance studio? Tenth floor. Tenth, tenth story dance studio. Yeah. Wait. Ten stories? I said third story. Third story. He's He's not very good at iterating information. 
Okay. I'm old. I've been smoking since I was 14. Well, that's, that's your unhealthy. that's your fault. Yes, it is. I mean, I guess you want cancer. That's okay. Yeah, I can get cancer now. No, you still can. Damn it! <laughs> that's not poison. That's it's just too. cells being. Yeah, <laughs> actually, that may have been how you were supposed to die. So. That actually may be what will eventually kill you, and then your guys won't be able to bring you back. I don't know why I know these things. I am going to go to the door and. It's one of those things when you get older as a ghost, you start knowing more and more about the underworld, just innately. Ugh. It's cool. Uh, we... Like, I didn't know at first, like, all these things, but then it's like, I spent a few. the first few years just kind of wandering around. I I met a pope. He was nice. He told That's me good. about a party he had where they collected chestnuts. Oh, I know this pope. Uh, I don't. Who is it? <laughs> you realize that the girl doesn't realize what what that implies. She's oh, still you. somewhat innocent. I'm going to uh, forget... <clears throat> I get it and uh, check the door. Uh, it's right. locked. The building is closed. It is. It's you know two in the morning. We can break in or we can wait until morning. I said we um. break in. Well. Something. You just need somebody to uh, be able to pick those locks. I will do. <laughs> Wait. There might be a security system. Oh. Uh, I would know this. I would know that. I'm going to stop him. You, know, you could have just uh, asked for a master key while you were over there. Why would they I give him a master key? I don't think the police station would have a master key to every building in the in the city. Yeah, this is not a police state. They don't just carry master keys. I've been lied to. You watch too many cop movies. Uh. Tomorrow then. Or do you want to try breaking in? I mean... Well, well, with no people around, it'd be much easier to investigate. I, I just realized the, the likelihood of finding anything for 13 years of gold would be slim to end, unless the security yeah. tapes is still around. Yep. Don't worry about it. We can look at it another time. I'll be around. Uh, she ghost hugs you. I pat her head. Your hand well, goes through her head. I do my best to stop where her head is. It kind of works. Sword Dude is the only one that can actually physically touch her. <laughs> Unless you guys go into the underworld, in which case all of you could physically touch her because at that point she's as corporeal as you are. I. Oh, I, I don't think I tried touching her. <laughs> yes. Which is what you'll realize is that you can touch her. Okay. Oh. Uh, let's see. Ghost. Well, I guess we can. Like, we'll try to pick the lock, but after that. But after like, that, we'll just wait till morning. Uh. I think it's best to wait until morning unless we have some way to disable the alarm. I should know. Uh. You want to. You want to roll to see if there's an alarm? 
Yes. So Alex will be rolling her intelligence plus her larceny. <laughs> larceny. I mean, for all we know, there might be a ghost in there that saw the entire thing. Then we have three ghosts to help. Intelligence with larceny. Alex is I mean, not certain. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> Alex, you're like, mm, it could, but it could also not. Uh, you know, uh, buildings tend to get security systems after bad things happen to them, but that was 13 years ago, so if they got a security system, that could be a while. And to be fair, that would be up to the person that actually owns the building. Uh, does, would my, would I automatically know that I can create a boneyard and... Yes, yes, you understand how to use your powers. Can I use, um, my boneyard and industrial to, well, see if there is and... Yes, you can. System. You can do your bone. Your, uh, so you'll roll. You'll roll your. Uh, first bone yard thing. Okay. Yay! Roll it. As bone yard and wisdom, wits, wits. I should say. And crafts, but yeah. So you'll be rolling six dice. Craft, wits. Yep, six and days. Where's the boneyard? Under manifestations. You roll six dice. Okay, six dice. It's it's under manifestations book. Right below your industrial and your pyre flame. Do do. Let's see what book rolls. Will they? Yep. Two success. Ooh. So they automatically get two successes on any wits check related to perceive and understand the aspect of structure within. Okay, so as you're concentrating, as you're feeling out, your boneyard extends outwards 20 yards. You feel the electronics in the system. You feel any countermeasures. And as your power lets you perceive things, uh, you uh, realize that the individual offices have their own security systems, but not the building at large. Huh. The guy that's probably renting it out probably thinks it's cheaper that way. Which in pretty many ways is probably true. It's probably cheaper to have people out to pay for their own security systems. Uh, is, there, is there a surveillance system? Uh, there is in fact a surveillance system. Uh, but it's only really pointed at the front door to make sure that nobody comes in that way. Uh, what do I have to roll to unlock the door and turn the camera off? Uh, you can get complete control of the camera, so you can turn it off. I turn out the camera? Yep. Uh, you just need somebody else to open the door. Okay, who who wants to try pick locking? Lock, picking the lock? Flynn, do you want to pick the lock? I said I was going to, but everybody wants to pick it up. Okay, I'll, I'll have to pick the lock with her uh, two dice. Alex. Uh, if the full 20 would... Oh, Alex gets a success in two dice. Nice. Uh, Alex spends some time fidgeting and fiddling with it, and pop goes the daisy. Uh, this is... This Power is very useful. And you uh, now pick the lock. Oh, uh, 
Let's go in and go to the room and see what we can find. What's the odds that we'll find a ghost that's older than 13 years in the dance studio? Maybe we might. Maybe you won't. Uh, I go up. Maybe the killer will just be sitting there waiting for all of you like he knew you were there. It's some sort of climatic ninja battle. Like once, uh, once Flynn go, goes in, like he pretty much summons the sword at the ready. Wait, I go get my gun, my revolver. Make sure there's fresh ammo in it. Okay. And... Uh, yeah. Uh, there is nobody inside. As best uh, to be safe and sorry. Yeah, and as you're walking through, yeah, you can sense when there's an electronic system, and you notice there is not on the dance studio. So that's the good news, is that there's no electronics that you have to deal with at the dance studio. Yay. Right. I checked the door. Is the dance studio unlocked? Uh, the dance studio is in fact unlocked. So you can head inside. Uh, okay. It's a Can't nice little dance right? studio. There's nothing super fancy about it. Huh. So, which one of these windows was it that you fell off from? According to the report, is the one facing the alley where we found her. Yep. Floyd's just gonna go, go near, go near that window, All right. and it's gonna start looking there. She's watching you all intently to see what you guys are gonna do. I have a question. Yes. I would end up asking her. So, how did you die? Well, so I. Fell out the window. That's what I remember. Uh, but I wasn't killed by that. I mean, yeah, falling out the window hurt like heck, but I didn't die from it. Uh, it's only three stories. True, you can survive that. Uh. But I was unconscious at that point. Uh, well, barely conscious, you know. And then I saw somebody approaching, and that's when I faded out. Mm. She pouts. Sorry, it can't be more helpful. It's fine. Uh, so, so to the so I will check outside near the window, you know, the alleyway, while you guys do everything here. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. My yeah. my reasoning is that I might see like an old camera or probably. Yep. And as you guys continue to do this work, uh, you spend the rest of the night investigating around, and you don't get any concrete stuff, but. Uh, by the end of it, you notice that uh, Alexei seems to uh, uh, be a bit faded in and out. Uh, something wrong? Uh, I'm fine. Why? It kind of fading. fading. Well, that's weird. Do you hmm. see a light? <laughs> she looks at the lights. Yes, I see lights. That is not good. Uh, do, you, do you mean like a different type of light? Uh, at the end of a no. tunnel, maybe? Da hmm. 
No, I mean, I, I kind of saw that last time. But not this time. You're not good uh. at this, are you? Don't worry, you'll get better. Uh, oh, thanks for the help, though. She's going to hug each of you. I think we have to hug back. Uh, I think this is when Flynn notices that she feels solid when she hugs him. Yep. Uh, Yay, shroud powers. Wait. You're solid? Uh, no, kid. She's kind of... I mean, Flynn's definitely hugging her and touching her. Uh. Uh... He actually shows the other two by lifting her. Ah, Yay. interesting. You can give her, her celebratory hair pads off. Uh, apparently. Well, Not if we ever have to fight a ghost, you're going up first. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and... Uh, about that point, she just kind of Smiles says, no, it's really nice that you guys spent the time and energy to do this for me, though. It's yeah. not a problem. But I'm still yeah. going outside to see if I, there's some clues so, I can I gather from outside. Yep. I mean, you do. I'll you spend you. several hours doing this, and that includes going outside. And about that point, uh, as the fading kind of finishes up, she just kind of uh, doesn't really poof out, just kind of uh, slightly fades out. Did we just have a ghost? Uh, and you get a feeling like you've helped a ghost. And that it wasn't so much for her uh, finding the person, but having people actually promise to put the energy into finding the person for her. That's not. Yeah. And yeah. You did a good. A bit sad, but you did a good. Da da da. Yes. And you guys all feel better. Uh, now all, I'm going home. All your plasms fill up because you feel better about yourselves. So it goes up to eighteen. Okay. That's your ghost powers. When you do a good thing that helps the ghost move on to the afterlife, you get full plasm. Can I ask her not to end up moving out so we can actually not only solve it but have cute girl Uh So that that is something you can ask her to do. You can roll the socialize with that. Currently still in that. Uh, I'll roll it for you, don't worry. Okay, let's see. Socialize thanks. plus your Technically that's manipulation. Yeah, that's manipulation? I mean because it's not presence. You know, it's not you trying... Mm. It technically, as far as stats would go, is technically manipulation. But, like, by a technicality of how mechanically it works. Nat 10. Yeah, and you guys all... Yeah, so she'll stay around. But, you know, she will one of them disappear once that happens. But you have a ghost friend. Okay. Alexia hugs you. Yay. I can't wish I can hug her too, but... I mean, you can hug her when you go to the Underworld. Okay, I probably will. <sighs> Alright. Uh, and... So you uh, guys got your guys, first kiss. I want to go back, back home and sleep. I'll drop you off. Yay! Damn, landlord isn't uh, trying to kick me out. I hope I hope he isn't because knowing you, you'll probably want to crash at my house. Oh, can I crash at your house? Uh, sure. Who said that? Alexia. She can crash with mine. Yay! That works too. Uh, all right. Yay! Uh, drive you guys off so you don't know where I live. Yay! Yay! Alright. 
Uh, and you guys get back to your various abodes. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, feeling tired and a bit sore. Uh, Edward, you, you have flashes back to your, uh, rather unceremonious demise. I no. know. Hey. Hey, you realize that the one of the pipes went through your colon. So thankfully you didn't shit yourself. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it, it punctured right through it. So all the poop was on the end of it. Uh, I hate... I hate. I hate this world. But hey, you know that scaffolding, you know, the thing that finished you off was the hammer hitting you in the head. <laughs> I do it was a hammer. <laughs> Why was there hard on it? No, it was a hammer. A hard helmet landed on your head after the hammer hit it. No, I was asking why was there a heart on it? Oh, uh, well, it was a little heart stamp that had the name Steve on it. I go I through all my pools. I go out through all my pools hoping something will either kill me or get me drunk. Uh, the answer is neither. You... Your, your booze is water to you. <laughs> you cannot get drunk. You have gained the ultimate ability of immunity to booze. <laughs> Curses body. I mean, it's your body. <laughs> I know. Just enhanced with ghost powers. Flynn is just asleep on the couch. What? Why is he in my house? Is he in my house? <laughs> Didn't you drop me off at my place? Yes. Just making sure you died just in, on my couch. <laughs> then, yeah. Flynn is... It Blaine is sleeping on the couch in his place. Sleeping people are the best as you all are visited by your ghosts. Yay! Ghost friends. I mean, to be fair, you can talk to your counselor at any point. The counselor's just kind of sitting there. Well, I mean, that's an interesting crew. You think that was the right choice? No. Counselor's not with you. They're talking. I know what. There's there's a voice that's that's saying. Don't Wait, what? Away. The counselor's what, the asking you. Do you think, yeah. What? What? I think that was the right choice. What was? I don't know. Just helping out that girl. You want to know who killed her, right? May yep. as well try helping her out. I felt sorry for her. That's good. Keep that in mind. That's that's what being a senior is about. You know, you're doing a good thing. And, you know, this isn't just about, you know the dark stuff. There's also a certain joy to it all, you know. It's hard to describe. You'll get more used to it in time. It's one of those things that comes as you start to really experience the whole aspects of the dead. Ooh. You'll actually really... Yeah, that's actually... Oh yeah, that that's mostly because you also haven't been to the deeper parts of the underworld. Like, the early levels are so drab. The second I find the guy responsible for her death, I'm, I might just stab him, stab him in a new hole. Now that is something I can get a part of. Murdering people is... I think so that is the most equitable solution. Kills a dying girl and hit 
Just gotta find out who it was. Call me lazy if you want, but I really can't stand stand it when things like that happen. You know, I wanna note something. There's a lot of ghosts in this city. Apparently. I mean, yeah, as a ghost, you get used to seeing a lot of ghosts. The underworld's full of them. A lot of people I mean, die before their unfinished business is handled. Hmm. I see. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things. People die when they are killed. Oh my god, you are face day night. Well, no one ever said I wasn't. You. Oh. Hey, hey, don't worry. You know, just remember all I want you to do is murder people that did bad things. I thought you were a counselor. I am. Yeah, I'm counseling you to commit murder. You are fucked up. Yeah. I mean, I'm not counseling you just to murder random people. Now that would be bad. I'm just counseling you that you want to punish that person that did those things. And I agree. <sighs> I don't see what the problem is. Don't you want to punish him or her? For I do. Do? I just thought you'd be one of those people who'd, who'd tell me that if, that doing that is wrong. You don't. You don't get it. I'm geist. You, do I? Now you're telling me it's all right for me to k kill those who. To commit injustice. I mean, as long as it furthers our goals of, you know, helping ghosts move on and punishing the wicked, I'm not particularly against it. I don't think you get it. The reason that I came to you is because you're a torn. You died from violence. I'm a geist. And that means I'm a spirit of the same thing that killed you. So, uh, you got shot in the head or something? That's an odd question. I'm a spirit. Not a ghost. There's a difference. Uh, it's complicated. Do you want the so short version? So, you died in, a, in some sort of bar fight or something? Think you cut out there? Uh, I, I'm a spirit, not a ghost. Yep. That that's that I said that. Did you hear uh, that? Uh, no. no. You ended up cutting out. They said I'm a spirit, not a ghost. Okay. Ah. Uh, not. I. Don't really see much of a difference, but okay, I guess. Uh, angels are spirits too. Uh, I guess that was kind of obvious. I think. I mean, kind of. You know, some people have a hard time wrapping their head around it. Uh. A lot of actually need her to do work is kind of hurting my head. 
Yay! And you get your crew insight as your crew pact is being formed via magics. Your crew insight is you understand that every geist is a spirit. But that means that every geist is... But also every geist is not a spirit. Every geist is part spirit. Yay! You don't know what the other part is. Uh, Ninkin. Uh, you know that they're part spirit. But the thing is that makes that weird is that technically that spirit can technically be an angel. So right, any devil. one of your geists could technically be an angel. Alright, devil. Uh, no. Yes. No. Oh. Can't be a devil. I just feel like I made a deal with a devil. It's not a devil. Yeah. Sounds like a handful. So, Tom. So, why was I able to touch a uh, Sarah? Uh, that's your ability, the shroud. The shroud? You're pulling the shroud of the underworld around you. I am back. By Hello. doing that, you can interact with things of the underworld, such as ghosts, as though they were there. Or as though you were Ghost in the Underworld. So, if I wanted to, if a ghost tried to do something, I can technically stop them. I mean, yes, you could. <laughs> What's my main Lucky. job as a celebrant, if you don't mind me asking? Uh... To celebrate and encourage other people to enjoy life because, you know, enjoying life is a thing that people take for granted. You know, encouraging people to not take life for granted and enjoy it to their fullest. You know, as a celebrant, you'd be the person that says when you're dealing with an NPC that's uncertain if they should marry the girl, you're going to say yes. Or no, for all we know, it's a Yeah, but the point is, you want to encourage people to enjoy life. And you also want to enjoy life to its fullest as well. Why am I? So you want to encourage other people to enjoy it, you know? You're the New Orleans jazz band celebrating people. Uh, what's Edward? Uh, Edward's an advocate. So Edward, your entire thing as an advocate is, you know, helping people. Helping the ghosts. You want to do the ghost case. You want to find out who murdered that ghost. It gives you a goal. Yeah. And, and if I'm not getting paid for it. Can I talk to a geist or... Is oh yeah, we're, we're going to talk to your geist too. So, that's what uh, Ninkin got. Then we cut over to Edward. Edward, your geist just howls at you. All night. <laughs> uh, this... Why? This... <laughs> you get no sleep. But, you get a deeper understanding about that. Uh, so your memento, the little item you have with you, is basically how you channel your power. And there are other items that are connected to, you know, ways people died or things that are of death, like taxidermy animal, taxidermied animals, that if you have them, like you own them in a spiritual, like a mystical sense, these animals can let you access more of these ghostly powers. So you understand how guys can gain more of their magical powers by bonding with items amongst other things so you understand one of the ways to gain you know you learned how to gain magic yay so you know that you know you can do the x or y to do this uh, i just play with the lighter i'm great i'm a wizard i mean you don't have uh, the ability you just understand intrinsically how to do it just like you know like oh if I want to gain the powers to be able to control the cold and do all the weird cold stuff ghosts do, I just need to freeze myself. 
I am not going to freeze it, though. I mean, yeah. Don't worry. What's the worst that could happen? I die? Again? Do I know I could die? I'm pretty sure I could die. I mean, you're certain. Uh, yeah. But you know things like that. Just like you know that to get the pyre flame one, you have to set yourself on fire. I have the pyre flame. Yeah, but you know that if you want to give it to somebody else, you have to set them on fire. <laughs> I wonder if I can set one of those kids on fire. <laughs> and you know to give somebody else the ability to use the grave dirt powers, you have to bury them alive. For how long? Uh, you'll know when you start doing it. I'll ask for volunteers later. Da 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 da. Kills the party. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you magic powers. I, I... Don't worry, this time I'm certain I'm gonna give you magic powers. He just keeps like, burying us underground and saying that we get magic powers from it. I think he's just trying to kill us. I'm sure you'll survive. 95%. 15%. Yeah, and you also know one of the ways to get uh, the... You know the way to get the Stygian power, which is in the one of the uh, supplement books. It's uh. the... Uh, you know how to do that. You just gotta go drink from some of the rivers of the underworld. That does not sound good for me, but will it get me drunk? Uh, yes. I I want to go into the underworld. You don't have access to the underworld, but you know that if you drink one of the rivers, that it could potentially get you. Uh, well, drunk. Yes, that would be that would be a word to describe what would happen to you. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to the river sticks. Yay, chug, 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 chug. <sighs> and that's how the law, and that's, and that's how the party's, uh, uh, investigator died. Because he decided to chug down from the river sticks. I was the show alcoholic. Eh, uh, your alcoholic is gonna do not something dumb, but something. I just ask my guys to quiet down so I can sleep. It does not. Uh, I'll never go to you, sleep again. You soon learn how to accept the fact that there is a there is a chorus of howling at night. And by soon learn to accept it, I mean that is happening. And finally, we go to uh, you, Inquisitor, and the Beast. And it's just, uh, as you're getting your insight, because uh, you're a crew, you're getting your insight about what it means to be a geist and what it means to be a ghost hunter. Yay! Magical insight into the underworld! Uh, so, accurate description of the underworld. Uh, you know, it is technically in a lot of ways the waiting room for the afterlife. For people that weren't ready or it wasn't their time to move on. You know, standard uh, finish their business stuff. Uh, besides that, uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, you, uh, the best way that you can describe it is that it, uh, the lower levels are purgatory. And you only get enter into purgatory if you, after, you know, like centuries, still have not moved on. So you understand that. Yay! But that also gives you a great understanding of the underworld. Uh, so, yay! Would he know how to get to the underworld? I mean, you all understand how to get to it. Yay! 
I mean, we are dying. I mean, yeah, you all know how to get to the underworld without dying. Okay. Yeah, it's a guy's thing. You can conduct a ritual to enter the underworld. Do do do. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I want to add right now. Does the howling follow me? Uh, kinda. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping I could go to a hotel and sleep. I mean, he's your geist. He, he's attached to you. <laughs> you can't There's get rid of him. Flags. Does air flags help or is it in my head? Well, it's a ghost that's attached to your soul. What do you think? It's in my head. Correct. I'm never going to sleep again. You'll be fine. I'll live on coffee. Yes. Yes, you will. Too bad coffee cats poison! <laughs> oh, that that would be the ultimate move. Just, just kill me now! Kill me now. Rock! Kill me now! Put me out of my misery, Rock. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 yep, so you guys got a... There's some strange thing connecting all of your deaths. Uh, and... Oh, speaking of which, so that, that's the very first thing. Uh, and... Finally, you all get this, because you're all in a crew together. Uh, you all get a vision of... Of a figure shooting Flynn. Uh, so, yes. Uh, there you go. So, that's a something. Yay, Flynn was shot. But you already technically knew that, and you're like, well, that was useless. Did I recognize anything? The wake no. of the gun? No, that, I mean, that's kind of the thing. Is you, You're seeing a vision that if Flynn wasn't here, you realize would be incredibly useful. But since Flynn is here, it's the same as, you know, nothing. But it does tell you something. Uh, as you see it with a rifle, it means the person was far away when they shot Flynn. A sniper? Uh, yes. That seems important. Yes. So that's a clue, Sherlock. No, I said Sherlock. I write that down. Yes. Shot from a distance. Most likely rifle. Fuck. A psycho fuck. Howls, 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 howls. The damn coward shot me. With a rifle! I mean, it worked. Ugh, <laughs> uh, I hate guns. That's guns are useful. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have a cult. What can I do with that? You can research the occult and other things in the, in the cult. And you just realize that all that stuff that is about the occult that you know, you realize, like, how much of this is real? Oh, God, how much of this is real? <laughs> oh, God. There's no way to shut up my geist. I need to shut up my geist. <laughs> You're like, God. Oh, God. Does that mean the chupacabra is real? No. What about unicorns? No. Oh god, are leprechauns real? I hope not. Wait, Wait if they're real. The gold. gold. I'm greedy. Thanks, Rainbow. Go try and bug a leprechaun. Turns out it's like <laughs> a leprechaun from the horror film series. 
Uh, my sister actually loved that movie. She made me watch those. And that's how your character dies. Being knifed to death by a leprechaun. I find I would rob someone that show in case the character. Yep. Uh, I think this is a good place to end it right now. Uh, yeah. Yay! So how did everybody enjoy it? Uh, questions, comments, and suggestions? Uh, I wanted to be a more celebrant session, but we did kind of start a, a decent bit late, so yeah, that kind of took some of the window of the that. But, you know, I mean, there's going to be a lot more... Considering that there's a lot of, you know... Uh, characters that saw you die are going to be like holy shit you're alive and that's going to be celebration uh i think it's those thugs see they're going to what the fuck kind of yeah they're going to be kind of like what the fuck happened to you how did you live they are going to be very very confused and mildly <sighs> freaked out because they saw a brain pop like a grape all over them <laughs> that's what I'd like to know honestly we don't know what happened man uh I got one question yes how how did I get more points for um my skills uh you get experience at the end of sessions which you can spend to increase skills how much to how much experience do I need to spend to get to increase investigation. To one? Yes. Three. How much experience did you get? You got three experience. I'm going to use that experience to have investigation. That is probably a good choice. The detective can now actually do his job. <laughs> That's honestly what confused me. I want you to now keep that in mind. Is that your cop did not actually have the ability to do a job. So if you just go down to experience and put in three. Uh, yeah. You can spend it to increase a skill uh, from uh, one to two. And I believe that's four XP. Or buy a skill at one is three. Upgrading a stat from one to two is ten XP. And buying new keys, which are the things that let you do stuff like Stigmata and Passion, costs 10 EXP, but also meeting the requirement, like for Pyre Flame, setting yourself on fire. Um, or they each have their own little requirements for what you have to complete. Uh, completing them lets you get them. Uh, the other way of getting them is finding, you know... Uh, uh, memor mementos, basically they're leftovers from a geist that passed on. Does Sarah have one? No, she's not a geist. Oh. No. Think, uh, for example, if uh, if the counselor passed on, they would leave a memento, i.e. their uh, little sword would become a memento that would have either the stigmata or the passion uh, key attached to it. So while a character carried that, they'd have access to stigmata or passion, but only while they held it. And unlike the sword that you have, which you can summon at will, that one you could lose. Because oh it's not gosh. innately attached to you. Uh, that's one of the things. Like Those items are uh, the mementos that you can get. Yeah, because there's two ways to get it. Either A, do a task that lets you basically access it by a uh, uh, doing something dangerous and or soul defining, you know, setting yourself on fire lets your soul, you know, use fire powers. Or, oh, hey, this is the memento of a ghost that burned to death. Yay, it gives you fire powers. Uh, and more happy stuff and celebrant of life stuff because uh, hopefully it will start better on time and stuff. Uh, Hope it wasn't too dark and depressing for everybody. It's I hate my death. <laughs> I hate that, I die. That is a good way to view your death. 
Did you enjoy the session, Inquisitor? I like it. Yeah. I also want to, there to still be able to have the song for tones, because, I mean, that's going to happen at times. Uh, I decided to, rather than have you guys have to actually have the ritual to make a crew, because that ritual is actually really high level, I just decided to have it be that you guys naturally got it, which is a thing that can happen. And I thought that would work better, because that way you guys don't have to invest, like, 30 XP to get the crew benefit, which is pretty much what I just gave you. Like, you intrinsically know that to get keys you have to do this. So it's, you know, it gives you a bunch of out-of-character information in character. Like, oh, some geists are actually angels. It's like, how is that useful? It, yeah. You know, just like the other one could be like, some uh, geists are only partially spirits. They're also partially ghosts. Which, unless you all get all of the information, it's like, huh. There's like ten different factoids you need to get all the details about what a geist is. Geists are complicated. It's almost like being a geist is weird. But being, right. but being a sin eater is, kind of, is easy. Sorry, I'm rambling a bit. Uh, I need more magic. Get you, a a wizard. You have plenty of magic. And I want fire, too. I want all three of them. You can cause debuffs to a large group of people. And you're rolling Girl. eight dice to do it. Look at that. I think, uh, That's four successes. That's negative four dice pool to anybody that you could target within like 20 yards of you. <laughs> and I can control machines? Yes. So technically I can turn off uh, security systems, surveillance systems, vehicles, automatic doors. Exactly. Excuse me. Uh. Oh. Well, I hope you all have fun. I'll see you guys all right. next week and all also right. on Wednesday for Inquisitor's Game. Yeah.